All right, I think I'm live. Very cool. So hello everyone. Just time for another one of these. I'm back with the next episode of this amazing Nuzlocke, which I played so so well. <laughs> oh my god, this game is too easy. Anyway, I'm here in Route 14, which is south of Lavare. And I'm going to try to. Where is the Willow Wisp TM exactly? Hold on. I know the Willow Wisp and Toxic TMs are here. I want them both. South. Okay, I need Cut, which I do have. Okay, but they're later on. Very cool. Alright. Oh boy. I want to not fight trainers. Ugh. Got stuck in mud with the fight with the trainer anyway. It's annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. So I believe I have a plan to take care of this uh, of the next gym leader. Swallow, very fun. Nice. Worry seed, I'm all set. Pyroar. Oh, that's gonna be great in the rain, huh? Wow, what a, what a tough team. Brine. I don't want Brine. I'm all set. So Valerie has three Pokemon. And one of them is a Maywile which only knows dark moves. The other two Pokemon are both weak to poison. And I believe that I'll be able to solo her with the Cario. Okay. Okay, it's Ice Beam the Gumi. Hopefully I don't get too much experience. Very right, cool. Cause like, I don't even, I don't think I need to burn doll, honestly. I'm pretty sure we will just win with the Cario. Regardless. plus breaks in which died. That's my entire team. I'm not getting any more team members. outdoors or whatever. It's <laughs> quite a shirt, huh? Hello. Hmm? <laughs> sorry, I don't know how to... I can't just... None of my Pokemon can learn Explosion, I'm sorry. Why not? 
Ooh, speed fell, let's go. Curlia. Um, I'll bulldoze again. I hope this doesn't have... What, wait a second. That was a magical leaf? Dude, I mean... I, really? That did, like, nothing! Dude, this game is so free. Rage, that's actually really bad. Roar. Fine, I guess. I mean, I'll just poison grab it. I actually, I want to fight all the trainers, right? Yeah, to get all the experience points that I can. So I will be doing that. The only reason to avoid these trainers is to uh, not have to deal with dying to them, but I'll be fine. Just watch. Wait, what, what did it just do? <laughs> did something. Oh, draining kids, I see. Yeah, no, that's nothing. Wait, what did that- what just happened? Wait, why did it do so much damage that last time? What did it just use? What did it even just use? I'm gonna look at the, the fight. What What the hell- what? What What? what just happened? Why did it do like 50 damage? Wait, why did it do so much- Yeah, no, that's nothing. Oh, Endeavor. Okay. So I wasn't at risk of dying anyway. That's quite fine then, frankly. If I'm not gonna die, it doesn't matter. Gym leader already. Interesting. But I want to fight the other trainers, so. I'm gonna keep fighting all the other trainers. <laughs> Moonblast does more than magical leaf, huh? I'll use Parish Song. But I'm not gonna switch in my Tyrant, that's for sure. Flail, oh boy. I'm going Lucario, why not? Attract, oh boy. Sword Stance, wowed it. What an amazing trainer battle that was. That was just the best. Simply the best. trainer and then I'll fight Valerie and it'll be really easy. No issues there should be whatsoever, frankly. Um, I haven't fought you yet, right? Not. Well. Ooh, that's an electric Pokemon. Charge Beam. I mean... Ooh. That special defense... Rest. Oh, man. Wow, that was really tough, huh? Yo, Tyrant evolving, though. Hold on, I want to look at the, le the learn set of Tyrant. Um, learns Horn Drill level 49? That is very interesting. When does Tyrantrum learn anything? Tyrantrum. Horn at 53, Earthquake at 47. You know what? I actually think um, I'm going to not evolve the Tyrant because um, in this game, in Generation 6 and onward, if you keep a Pokemon unevolved, it'll gain more experience points. So I'm going to keep it as... I almost evolved it. Geez. I'm going to keep it as a Tyrant for now so that it gets more EXP. Got to think about the long term. So that's happening. Yes. So it's only in Gen 6 and later, I believe. I figure there's no way I'm using Tyrant Tyrantrum for the 6th gym. For the 
fairy type gym leader. Plus, it has an EV light, so it's like actually pretty bulky, <laughs> relatively speaking, at least. All right. <sighs> Watch me win. This is gonna be the easy. This might be the easiest gym battle I've ever done, besides like Mudkip against Roxanne or something. And even against Roxanne, I've had to dodge crits. Or no, Sableye against Brawly is by definition, like, impossible to lose, but you have to get Sableye for that. Yeah. The Flannery is when grinding becomes a really big issue in Gen 3. Um, in Gen 3 Nuzlocke. It's really annoying. Oh yeah, that's another reason <laughs> to not delay the Meteor Falls encounter. You get to actually grind in Meteor Falls, which is a thing that you can't do. Um, otherwise. Alright, let's fight Valerie. So, my strategy is going to revolve around um, three moves. And they're all going to work pretty well with each other. Actually, you know what? Yeah, no. This is going to be good. We're going to be able to. Oh, the mail has Intimidate, right? Or is it Hyper Cutter? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to win either way. So, this Maywile, for attacking moves, only has Dark type moves. So, I'm going to set up on it. If it uses Iron Defense, that's perfectly fine with me. In fact, I would love it if it used Iron Defense, because I'm using Sword Stance. So I'm going to boost myself up to plus six. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I outspeed everything. I haven't done any calculation, but I mean, I'm a Lucario with maximum... I, I think I have max speed. I don't really know. I didn't... I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm a Lucario. Three Sword Stances. This game's so easy. another crunch whatever it doesn't matter now this maywile is immune to poison unfortunately Ooh, my defense fell it doesn't really matter but it's weak to ground and i mean it's easy and now mr mime and sylveon come out next and mr mime is poison fairy type and sylveon is pure fairy type poison jab Need I say more? I'm sure you can imagine how the Sylveon is going to happen. First Lapras gets a level up. That's amazing. And then... Easiest gym battle ever. And this is guaranteed. Poison Jab is a TM in like, the south side of Sycamore City. Uh, Lumio City. And Lucario is, of course, a gift encounter. So, yeah. Keep your Lucario alive and you have free Valerie. You should never lose this fight if you're good at the game. Done. It's already over. That's it. GG. Six badges. And the stream's barely even started yet. I could have done this yesterday. I could have, like, it's literally been 13 minutes. And that includes, like, buying clothes and, like, everything else. Like, seriously? This is actually a gym fight in the game. God. This is the sixth gym. There are only two more badges. I don't even know how how many levels the next gym leader is. Yeah, Flannery is 29, which is a pretty big, pretty big jump considering how few trainers. That, well, actually, there are a lot of trainers there at really low levels. I have, my theory is that like that area of the game was meant to be more open ended. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look at the walkthrough now to see where Anastar City. Um, what is the new cap? 48. Okay. So we'll just change that really quickly. Still only one death. Love to see that. Um, doo doo. -doo. 48. Yeah, no. The best spot is Meteor Falls, and even then it's like really annoying, because like you're fighting Zubats and stuff. Ugh. Also, hello. Uh, oh, my team is Lucario, Tyrant, Lapras, and Venusaur. Um, I had a Brakeson, but it died to a wild Soul Rock, because the Brakeson was poisoned, and I. <clears throat> the Brakeson was poisoned. 
and I didn't have any antidotes, so I tried to leave the the glittering cave, which is the area between the first and the second gym, in order to heal. But I got attacked by a wild soul rock, and I couldn't escape in the first turn. And then I got fire spun, and when you get a fire spin, you can't escape at all. So I just had to sit there and die, and I couldn't knock out the soul rock because that would go against one of the rules of this challenge. And I couldn't catch it, because that would also go against the rule of this challenge. So, yeah. But now I know. Um, just bring healing items. So now I have a few um, antidotes and stuff. I'm gonna... Should I buy some more? I might as well. I'll buy like 10 full heals. Just in case I run out of something. Might as well buy a bunch of repels, huh? It's fine. Um, I don't need the items. I need vitamins. I'm all set. I healed, right? Yeah, I did. So, fun fact, by the way. In the Pokeball Factory, all of the trainers are... Um, optional, besides the, actual, besides the commanders or whatever. Ooh. Keep your swallow healthy. But not like healthy if we get to whatever, but don't let your swallow die. Because that swallow can very easily die. Your tor her torquil overheat is probably going to one shot you, even at like minus two. So be very wary of that. Um, turn this music back on. Uh, there we go. So bad. Okay, there we go. Here we go. I'm gonna fight all the trainers in here um, for the experience, but I don't think I'll need to. I mean, what am I saying? I don't. I have no idea. I think I'll be fine in terms of. Uh, oh my god, I cannot speak. I think that I will be safe and not die. I will not lose any Pokemon to the trainers. That's what I was trying to say. But you never know. First up is a Toxicroak, huh? That's always fun. I'm going with, in with my Lapras. Try to use Bulldoze on it or something. Wait, this thing probably is going to use a fighting move, right? Swagger. Um, I'm actually really worried now. Because, um, if this has, like, revenge or something... Sucker Punch. Cool. Okay. Venom Shock. Um, does this not have a fighting move? Alright, cool. Either it didn't have a fighting move or it didn't use it. Either way, never punished. Alright. Um, Mighty Enna and Golbat. I'll take care of that with my Lapras as well. Grinding in this challenge is really weird, because on the one hand, I have a limited I have a limited pool of experience points that I can get throughout the game, because there are only so many trainers you can fight without rematching them or whatever, or going to the battle chateau or whatever, but at the same time, I don't want to overlevel anything. That would be really bad. The rash is an interesting move that I'm not going to teach it. There already no strength, and... I already know one move that locks and confuses the user, and I don't really want to have a second to deal with on my team. Um, it's going all right. Classes haven't actually started yet. I just kind of moved. Wait, why is there camera angle changing slightly? I just kind of moved in and stuff. Next trainer, a Swala. Wow. That's gonna be so tough to deal with. How will I ever do it? Uh oh, that's a Scraggy. Um, that's a lot of damage. Alright, I'm fine. Wait, Scraggy? Oh, this is the. Wait, what? Oh, I skipped a trainer. I'm so bad. <laughs> This is a different trainer than the, the one that I was thinking of, because I can't read. 
That's awesome. Well, I got HP restoring part level 3. That's amazing. Yeah, Spoink is... Spoink has a really high special defense, which is... Which makes it good to have. It's a very good Pokemon to use in Nuzlocks. It's very, very defensive, and I like that. Especially if it gets thick fat, that gives it like a lot of special bulk. Alright, so a bulldoze. Oh no, amnesia, whatever will I do? Toxic, oh no. Bulldoze again. That was really hard. Okay. Now I fought all the trainers here, so I can do this, which yeah, changing the look, the direction of the conveyor belt um, allows you to solve the puzzle by going up here. Um, oh, right, Psywave. Well, at least Psywave does the same... Actually, that's kind of a bad thing, because you can't switch in on anything to resist it. But Psywave will at least do the same... Well, not the same, but you know what I mean. Psywave does damage... I don't know, look it up. If you don't know what it means, what Psywave does. Wait, there's another team... I have no idea what, what I'm doing. Um, surf go. Scary face, oh no. Payback. Interesting. Alright, there's the hound doom. Wonderful. Forest sphere. That's a good move. Unfortunately, um, I don't really want it. Because I already have the my Lucario is a physical attacker. Let's just go in. I'm not going to worry about healing up, like, 10 damage. Um, oh, that's a Manectric. Um, I'll Bulldoze. Ooh, the, the Fake Out, though. Meowstic with the big carry. I should actually switch out, though. I'm not going to chance it. Oh, no, I've been taunted. Whatever will I do? Cuddle Dance. Goodbye, Manectric. Goodbye, Lifeguard. That was so hard. That was the toughest battle I've ever been in. I'll take the map, it doesn't really matter. So, what's my end point gonna be today? I don't even know. What should my end point be? <laughs> what if I just went with Lapras as a toxic rest staller? That would be hilarious. And also really bad gameplay loop. Lepberry, that's actually really useful. Doggo. Where can I surf to? Nowhere, it seems. Very fun. What is this? Is it, this isn't a trainer, is it? Oh, it's a PP up. It's interesting. Yeah, I, I go for what works. Well, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I go for the, the funny moves. I'm just avoiding all of the non-required trainers right now. The other thing is, if I avoid all the non-required trainers right now, then it'll be even easier to do what I call a full team fight, where I use all four of my Pokemon against all of the, against each of the Pokemon that the opposing trainer has. Um, this is an item. It's a big root. Best item in the game. If I recall correctly, the 
trainers in this area have a lot of fighting type Pokemon, which are actually kind of tough for me to deal with. Um, Alright, so Frost Cavern is on the next page of the walkthrough. Oh, there are two Sky Trainers outside? Cool, I guess. Alright, uh, yeah. So this person only has a Dewblade, but that's not an easy Pokemon to take care of, per se. I believe, um, the middle, no, okay, no, oh yeah, okay, there's the, the ace trainer guy, okay, um, I believe this hiker is optional, yeah, it seems like it, alright, and now I believe it's either a double battle or something, yeah, it's either a double battle or just a guy with, a, with some strong Pokemon. Hmm. None, neither of these options are actually very good for me. But I think this way is a little better. Uh, oh wait, no, there's also the... Wait, can I go diagonally? Yes, I can! I can actually skate diagonally to avoid all of the above. That's really huge, actually. Oh my god, at this game. So all of these trainers are optional, yeah? Seems like it. Let's just assume that they are. Because, yeah. I have to fight one level. Wait, 48? Level 48 Houndoom? I'll be fine though, yeah. I have my Lapras. Whatever. I'll be okay. I'll be good. Whoops. Hiker dude. Um, I'll be fine, right? Maybe, maybe not. Pro pass the special defense is gonna wait. Did it even go up? I don't know. Whatever. Wait, how do I get over there? Uh, whoops! I'm fighting this guy now. Okay. Rock slide, my favorite. Very cool. Tyrant's level 41, and it's gonna stay a Tyrant for a little bit longer. Now, okay, I fight one of the people. Golbat. Uh, gonna switch out on that one. Acrobatics, that's a lot of damage. I know it's a crit, but still. Yikes. Okay, good at one shot. Love to see it. Manectric, we're going back into Venusaur. This game's easy. Alright, Lapras is getting healed up because it's gonna need it. I'm fine at level 41, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be good. I'll be a-okay. Let's just, let's do it. Watch me just surf to win, baby. Doesn't matter that it's, he's got Fire Fang or whatever. I just two-shot him. This game is so easy. <sighs> God. I'll take the Abomasite. Sure. Like, I don't know. This game, man. Like, why? It's so easy. 
Dragon Rage is a good move. It's a pretty good move. But, is that gonna be... I don't know, that HP might be a little too much on the opposing Pokemon. Can I... Do I have an escape rope that I can use? I do. I think I'm gonna use it just to be safe. Cause like, when else am I gonna use an escape rope, right? The good news is that there are a ton of optional trainers that I can fight. So, if I feel worried about leveling and stuff. What? What levels are... Ooh. Ser Serena gets a fourth Pokemon. In this case, a Flareon, because I chose the... Because I chose Fennekin. That's lovely. That is just lovely. So I'm gonna have to change my strategy up at least a little bit, huh? Boom, yes, I get Shadow Ball, too. Interesting. I'm gonna get a fast Pokemon so that I can avoid all the trainer battles. Basically, I'm gonna get Lucario so I can avoid the trainer battles. Do I think my team is ready for Serena right now? Because if I don't, then I should go fight other trainers. Hold on, there are only four, one, two, three, there are only five trainers in the gym. Okay, I'm not even close to over leveling. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some grinding. I think that's overall a good idea for me. At least get everyone to like level 44. Yeah. Especially considering that, like, I have no idea how I'm actually going to take down Olympia. I have no idea what any of these trainers have. I'm just going to assume that I can deal with them. <laughs> Manectric. Okay, we're switching right out of that. Super Sleuth, whatever. It's fine. Let's go. Level 44 Venusaur. Caddy, I should be fine. If you know what, let's let's put Tyrant in. Double slap, oh no. Dragon Claw. Attract. I'm mobilized by love. That's great. Alright, we're switching back to Lapras for this. I'm not gonna deal with that. I got Song to Sleep. That's wonderful. Uh, it's great. <sighs> Swana, the best Pokemon in the game. Rain Dance, best move in the game. Offering, the best recovery in the game. Wow, that was that was great. some more XP, I guess, or more healing, whatever. Or just some healing. This is the first time I used the Opire on it today. Punkaboo! It's my favorite Pokemon. Ooh, double battle. Interesting. Alakazam and Gardevoir. There's no way this thing doesn't use, like, a... Oh, I'm in trouble, because if I send my Venusaur in on a... Oh god. Um. Let's do this. Okay, Gardevoir used Psychic on Lapras instead of using a fairy move on my Pokemon that's weak to fairy. Very cool. 
Um, I'm gonna switch Tyrant right out. Go for Lucario. Because maybe I'll use Psychic on my Lucario or something. Okay, yeah. Psychic on Lapras. Love to see it. And I should be fine now. Got him. This game's so easy. Lapras with Safeguard. I'm all set. Very, very cool. Heal Lapras up. At least a little bit. <laughs> Use strength again, why not? Time to do Lucario things, I guess. I'm not, I'm not keeping this on in on the Steel Fairy type. <laughs> Torment, oh boy. Yep. It makes sense the cleft you be weak to ground moves, right? Tyrant's level 43, wow. Goodbye, Maywile. It's not the first Maywile I've seen today. Fisherman, because I don't want to, um, because I don't want to use my Venusaur to fight these guys, because I don't really want to use my Venusaur right now, because I don't want to overlevel the Venusaur specifically. Stunfisk, wow, it's the best Pokemon in the game. Fought this guy already? Guess so. Alright, I'm just gonna crunch these ghost types. Crunch. Cruncher ties me capping. Hunter. Very cool. Venus is level 45 and it's learning synthesis. Ooh, that's a really good move. That's a really good move, but I'm gonna have to not teach it for now. Gumi. That's a polywirl. Uh I'll use Dragon Claw. Rain Dance, oh boy. Body Slam. Wow, that's a really good move. Fracture. Um I assume I'll knock this out. That's a Dragon Dance fracture that outsped me already. I am very glad it did not use anything other than Dragon Dance. Okay. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, 43. Where's the Pokemon Center? Here it is. A netball, wow. That's great. This is this a trainer? No. This is a trainer. Kimeko. Psywave. That's a kind of a tough move to deal with actually. I'm just gonna serve. Just play it safe right now. Tyrant's level 44 and starting earthquake. Oh man. Um, better than Ancient Power, honestly. Yeah, I could buy Ancient Power. Because it's a physical move, and it's like the, the base power. Why? I swear, I'm like, shouldn't I be getting more... Shouldn't I have to wait to press B? I've been like pressing B immediately, and it's like, I don't know. Doesn't matter that much, does it? At least I hope not. I hope, I hope my game's not broken because I 
pressed B on my tyrant too many times or something. There's like a trainer, yeah, there's a trainer. Watchog, the strongest Pokemon in existence. Oh no, mean luck, whatever will I do? Hyper Fang, oh no. It's so tough to deal with. Swoobat. Amnesia is actually tough to deal with, it's really annoying. But not when you have Ice Beam and uh, you're a Lapras, who's really good at being a Lapras. Seedra. Um, I think I'm gonna bulldoze Twister. That's doing nothing to me. How much is Future Psych gonna do? It shouldn't do too much to me, yeah? It's nothing, dude. This game is so easy. What? I can't believe I might actually not have any more deaths for the for the rest of this game. Like. I don't know, I thought maybe I'd have, like, something die, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Now, granted, all of my Pokemon are fully evolved, and a lot of these Pokemon are not, so the odds are in my favor a little more than they normally would be. But still, wow, it's kind of insane. Like, dude, why is this so easy? I'm gonna fight the rival, oh, not yet. You're switching to Venusaur. Volt switch, oh no. Aromatisse, wow, dude. Can't wait to two-shot the Aromatisse. Oh no, my, my physical attack fell. <laughs> so my pedal dance will do. What's this, the same amount of damage? Who would have thought that? Wow, that, that was so tough. All right, rival fight time, I guess. over. Wow. I'll use some repels. Why not? Do I have any? I do. I have one super repel. Oh, no, I have five. What am I saying? I'm going to use one super repel, though. Just to make this trip a little... Um, let me put music on and stuff. So, as usual, Serena begins with the Meowstic. Ooh, Meowstic has a disarming voice, though, which is super effective against my Dragon type. Wait, what ability is this Lucario? Steadfast. <laughs> I mean, what if I. What if I just went in with my Lucario and won, huh? Is that possible? That could be possible. Look at the speed boost with Fake Out. And then, like, I'll take something and then I'll just. Should I. Will I survive a Shadow Ball, though? I might not survive a Shadow Ball. But then again, like, a lot of my Pokemon don't have crazy defenses. I think I'll be able to tank at least one Shadow Ball. Wait, wh what is Water Shuriken? It's not, um... Oh, it is an increased priority. Water Shuriken is increased priority. But by that point, I can just use Venusaur. I think I can do this. I think I can do it. Let's go. Let's try to move Lucario. Wait, actually, would I even one-shot the Meow Stick? This might not be a good idea. Well, I'm doing it. Four Pokemon. Back to even team sizes. Oh, the hail, though. I forgot about the hail. Forgot about the hail. Take out, so my speed stack gets boosted. That was a crit. Alright. 
see how much damage a Shadow Ball will do, huh? Or a Psychic, rather. I'm faster. Okay, good. Shadow Ball, not Psychic. Interesting, but okay. Oh, that did nothing. Now, I'm gonna assume that my Poise Jab will knock out this Meow Stick. If not, then that's an issue. It didn't knock out the Meow Stick. Um, very cool. Meow Stick's also not dead. Um, okay. So, my Lucario should be able to survive. I should be able to su survive the hail. Um, and then I'll switch out into something else. That's really fun. Right? Okay, good. I did survive the hail. Thank God. Frankly, I don't want to chance it. I do not want to chance the Fire Fang. So I'm gonna go, or Lava Bloom rather. So I'm gonna go right into Tyrant, who quad resists fire. The worst thing this can do to me is bite. Okay, went for a quick attack. Probably because it saw a knockout with it. You know what's funny? That might not even knock out my Lucario, even with hail damage. <laughs> Whatever. Either way, Earthquake goes in. Bite is gonna do a decent amount, honestly. Considering how much Shadow Ball is left into Lucario. Alright, goodbye, Flareon. 45 Tyrant. Love to see it. Lucario is level 46. Lapras is level 45. Watch as Venusaur levels up too. Okay, no. If you send in... Okay, Greninja comes in now. Um, I'm gonna go in with my... It's actually kind of a tough choice. I think I'm gonna go for... that? I think I do. Because then if I really need to, I can just cheese Absol with stuff. So, Venusaur goes in and I'm going to Petal Dance. Plus I can actually hit Greninja with Venusaur, unlike with Lapras. Dark Pulse is going to do a lot. Youch. Why did he use Dark Pulse and not Water Shuriken? Whatever, it's not my problem to worry about. Actually, it is. I'm literally the one that's playing this game. Whatever, Petal Answers, knock it out. Okay, Greninja's faster than me, and it does over a third of my health. And I flinched. Awesome. Very cool. So, I'm gonna have to switch out, which is really fun. Go, Lapras! This is actually looking kind of bad for me. Boy. Water shuriken. Cool. I water I water absorbed it. I don't know what's gonna do more between like Ice Beam or Bulldoze. So Ice Beam is 90 and 90, right? And that's 60. So 90 times one and a half is like 135. And 60 times two is less than that. But I do get the speed drop, which is pretty big. I think I'm gonna bulldoze. Like, how much is Dark Pulse gonna do to me? Like, a third? A fourth? And the thing is, I don't get hail damage because I'm a Lapras. So I'm ice type. Well, I'm doing very little. I think the hail might be doing more bigger into than I am, but that's okay. Because I am healing a lot of my health as well. Dark Pulse. See, Dark Pulse is doing a decent amount of damage to me, but I. I'm doing a decent amount to him, and I am healing a decent amount. I'm basically taking next to nothing. Of course, the damage does that up over time, but I'm just, I'm just, let's just say I'm glad to have switched out, and I really should have done this instead of Greninja, instead of Venusaur. I forgot about Hail, and how much better Lapras is because of it, in this specific matchup. So, we 
tank one more Dark Pulse. Another Ice Beam. I should knock out the Greninja. Now I think... I think it's best for me to go for a Parish Song here. I think it is. Because I think my Tyrant will be able to survive its attacks and such. Better than Lapras will be able to knock it out. So I'm going to go for the Parish Song. And eventually Absol will die. Wait, Absol has... What is it, disability? Super Luck? Okay, that just makes crit critical hits happen more often. For some reason, for a second, I thought it would have, like, um, Soundproof or whatever. Alright, Parish Song. Oh boy. So, I need to survive for three turns in total. Let's, um... Put Venusaur out in front. So this is one turn into three. Please survive. Wait, I'm gonna get hail damage? Okay, quick attack. Please don't do too much. Don't do too much damage to me. I actually kind of misplayed here. I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah. Okay. Alright, that's one. That's one turn. I could stay in, but I really shouldn't. Okay, Tyrant, go in and um, please survive and stuff. Okay, just two more turns. Okay, that's a quick attack. That's perfect. It's doing, like, next to nothing. I'd love to see it. That's great. That's amazing. It's wonderful. It's awesome. Okay. Hail. So, quick attack to Night Slash. I think I might be fine. I, this, this, uh, okay, quick attack. AI throwing as always. Why it didn't use Night Slash is beyond me, but I'll take it. Very, very good. Alright, Absol goes down because its parish count is zero. Let's go. Easy fight, no deaths. Not even close. Just kidding, that was really stressful. Goodbye, Serena. <sighs> wow. Also, what? I'm still alive, right? Okay, I am. I'm still alive, right? Alright. Very good. For some reason, on my, my streaming software, it says that I've only been live for 10 minutes, which to me means that I probably disconnected and then reconnected at some point. Wait, oh, Serena fully healed my team, I guess. Cool. So there are five trainers in this gym. I'm gonna fight all of them. First up is an Executor. I think I'm just gonna beat them all with Lucario. Lucario's got poison there for the Executor, so... Should be easy enough. This is the only required trainer in the gym, I believe. Poise jab go. That's a lot of damage. Too bad I'm doing more. I should be really careful with my Macario, huh? Next up is Metacham, which I don't really have much of an answer to. Like everything on my team is weak to it to Metacham, at least one of its stab typings. Uh you know what? I'm gonna skip the Metacham. I'm gonna skip that Metacham. Probably a good idea, right? Reuniclus, as far as I'm aware, as far as I remember, it hits hard. It might actually be a good idea for me to not do these trainers. These trainers seem to kind of go in, huh? So where the hell am I? Well, oh, alright, Reuniclus time. Nope, that's Medicham. Okay, time for me to die. Psych up. Okay. 
Maybe I'm gonna be fine? AI throwing. Oh my god, I almost died. Wow. Wow. That happened. I'll be fine, right? Parish song. Skill swap, oh boy. Youch. We're going right back in Lapras. Oh yeah, water, water, whatever, it's fine. Okay, wow. Lucario is like almost dying a lot, huh? That's really fun. Oh boy. Do I have like items? Do you have some full restores? This is the Jinx Trainer. Cool. Avalanche does nothing. Love to see it. And special defense harshly fell, but it doesn't matter. Because I ended up outspeeding and knocking it out. Well, I actually. The thing did so little damage to me that I actually healed it all off. Trace, oh boy. Guess I'm gonna Ice Beam this. Oh no, not Calm Mind. Oh, that's actually really... That's a lot of, um, Calm Minding. Psychic is gonna do... Not enough to one-shot me. Two-shot me. Unless to crit. Don't crit me, thank you. And Bulldoze, knock it out. Very good. Wow, those trainers are scary. Like, really scary. Oh my god. Uh, everyone's still not at level 48. I want to get everyone as close to level 48 as I can, given what has happened with those trainers. Jeez. Oh my god. Uh, pretty sure that's all of the trainers in the gym. All five of them, yeah? <sighs> Boy. Stressful, honestly. That would have actually been pretty bad, huh? Delosion. What a difficult Pokemon to deal with. 
future site. It's kind of not really. It's not the worst thing ever. Nice pain split though. Nice pain, dude. Oh my god. Uh. Who's for? Too scary. Why isn't Tyrant trying to evolve? I need to look this up. Because normally I should be getting that little screen. And I'd have to press B to make it evolve. But it was trying to evolve the first couple times. Is there a way to. Myth is evolution, I guess. How do you stop a Pokemon? What if I have... Okay, so... Everstone's to prevent it, right? Um... Doesn't seem to say anything about Eevee lights or anything. Doesn't say anything. What is up with that? Uh, why is that happening? Why isn't my Tyrant trying to evolve? That doesn't make any sense. It should be trying to, right? Right? Hold on, how do you evolve Tyrant? It's just by level, right? Oh, it has to level up during the daytime. And it's... Wait. Is it really too late in the day now? Or oh, I've been using speed up. So the game thinks that it's 9 p.m. Which means that Tyrant can't evolve because it's not the daytime. Wow. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Toxic is fine. 
fine with me. Got the freeze. This game is so easy. Jeez, it's insane. That's it, right? It's not a. All right, no more trainers in here, I think. I guess we're still level forty-eight, right? Uh, yes, it is. Thank God. I'm just gonna go in front. Probably a bad decision. Watch me wipe a little bit. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? That'd be just great. Alright, it's time to look at the data. See if there are any TMs that I can get that I should get. Good luck against Flannery. Um, TMs, huh? I have six badges. It's a lot. Snarl? Who could learn Snarl? I doubt many people will be able to. The thing is, like, I gotta keep in mind that besides Lapras and Tyrant, actually, who's actually weak to Psychic? Okay, so... It's only Venusaur. Venusaur is weak to Psychic, but that's it. Lapras is not weak to it. Gary is not weak to it. Tyrant is not weak to it. It's very interesting. Hmm. I should probably just Lapras rest, actually. Wait, can Lapras learn Calm Mind? Can I get the Calm Mind? No, I need, I need seven badges for, for Calm Mind. That's fine. That is a okay. Can I pursue psycho though? If Lapras can learn psycho, that would be really good, but I highly doubt it. late in the game. Interesting. I could do Toxic Spam. I could just do like Toxic Rest and stuff. I might just do that. 
might. Especially the sloping system. Skills farmable. They are. Yeah, okay, they are. Yeah, you can use Rock Smash to do it, so. Yeah, theoretically, I can get unlimited hard skills, which basically means that I can. I'm, al I'm gonna allow myself to hack hard skills into the game if I really need to. I'm thinking I might overwrite Ice Beam or something. I might do that. I'm gonna do some calcs for this because this is a really tough battle. At least that's what it's shaping up to be. So, let's just say I have level 48 Lapras. Special defense for all the matter. 227, 136. So the first Pokemon is 44 Sickleth. Do maximum everything, right? For the opponent. Hold on. What? It's only gonna do 20% with its psychic? I guess Sigilyph is a defensive Pokemon. Wait, no, it's not. It has a nine special attack. Really? Jeez. Okay. What about Sloking, though? Just the four levels lower than me. Oh, that's because, um, trainers don't have EVs in this game. That's a thing. Psychic should do around 20%, but Sloking does have the, uh, Calm Mind it can use. Let's say it's sake, it's two Calm Minds up, it's still probably a three shot, but by that point I have, I have Toxics up and stuff. This might be doable. It's a female Meowstic, yeah? Level 48. Psychic. Yeah, I might. This might be the play. Meowstic also has Calm Mind. I think I can do it with... Wait, do I protect? If I protect, that would make this really good. I, I do have protect. So I could protect Parish Song to get rid of, um, to get rid of Calm Minds. If anything uses Calm Mind too much, I can Parish Song. Protect and I have the rest to use, right? Rest and sleep talk. And wait, where is the move for learner? It's a Dendinal Town. This is also where the move to leader is, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Very cool. So 
I don't need Surf to get through Route 15, right? Yeah, no, I don't. It just makes things a little more convenient. And I'm pretty sure I've already fought all the trainers there. And if I haven't, then whatever. I'm gonna save. I guess I'm gonna save and reset anyway. Because this is more convenient going into PK Hex than actually doing all the things that I need to do. That I need to do in order to get the moves on Lapras legitimately. Okay, max, max HP and stuff. So, protect, no, toxic first. And protect, and rest. I could use sleep talk, to try to get a Paris song off and stuff, but it's not worth it. Because I'd also have to find time to switch it in. Paris song is a last resort kind of move. also get rid of a move on Venusaur, huh? Let's temporarily change Venusaur's cut to simple this. Because, you know, that might be a thing that I need to do. Actually, yeah, no, this is good. Okay, let's do it. I may or may not win, but we're gonna give it a try. Everyone's fully healed, right? Maximum power points and all. Yes, okay. strategy. All right, here we go. And if this doesn't work, then uh, it's just because I'm bad at the game. So let's, let's make it happen. In, it's probably a set or something. Oh, frankly. Let's go with the. Hmm. Yeah, let's start with the toxic light screen. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a lot of sense. Now it's probably go for reflect, yeah. Actually, go for the toxic again. I don't actually want to do that. Glyph has magic guard. Which means that I'm 
Magic Garden can't be damaged by special conditions. Please tell me Sigurd at least has to switch out on, on the whatever, right? Okay, so now I get a free toxic at least, but it's not all that great. No, I predict this slow king is going to use on um, At least this slow king takes damage, right? So many things in this place. Right? You know what? I know. I think it's gonna go for the first turn yawn. If it goes for calm mind, then whoops. Okay, I went for yawn. Okay, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna predict the calm mind again. Or not again, but for the first time. Because it wouldn't use yawn twice in a row, right? It's not that crazy. No power gen, obviously. Youch. Blood damage. Let's go for. Let's switch Venusaur in. No. No, I protect here. There's the Yawn, I guess. Now I'll switch. Oh, I, I misplayed again, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I totally did. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. Um. Hmm. I'm going to Lucario here. Or is this what I assume is going to be a power gen? That's long. That's actually. That's okay. Wait, Hyper Potion? But, but, <laughs> hold on. Wait, I have to use the Hyper Potion, because the Slow King's at low health, but Slow King's at zero now. Slow King's gonna die. Okay, all right. That's one down, I guess. Wow. The AI really loves to throw, huh? I guess they prioritize using an item over switching out. Okay, that's really good. There's the Siglith. Song. Light screen, I am just gonna go for a reflect when I switch into a different Pokemon. So I will switch into Venusaur to be the air slash specifically. So we need reflect now, I hope. He's on psychic, that'd be really bad for me. That'd be really, really bad. Really bad. Psychic. The King Venus is very special defensive. Uh, 
I have switched into Bear Slash, so I'm switching right back into Lapras. Psychic, which is fine. Now Meowstic's gonna come in. Now we need a free switch. Or a free toxic. Because Sigilith comes out. Meowstic comes in. And Toxic hits. Very good. Now this Meowstic, I assume, is gonna go for the fake out. If it doesn't go for the fake out, then I'm fine. Actually. Should I? No. I should. So, yes, it's gonna go for, I assume, a fake out. I'm gonna go for a toxic here. Yep, there's a fake out, because I don't care about the fake out damage, I care about the psychic damage. Now, in all likelihood, this thing is probably just gonna go for, um, whatever it is, the combine, which is kind of fine, in the sense that, like, whatever, I don't know. Actually, if, if the Meow 6 games combo is I'm actually in a tough spot. Okay, there's a combine. It's uh, something. Got a certain. Wait, I have a Hario though. And the Hario can go into the Poison Grab. I think that might be what I have to do. Yeah, so I don't think Combine is going to kill my Lucario, or a Psychic is going to kill my Lucario from here, but if we combine a Poison Jab plus the Toxic damage that this one is going to take, there's no way this thing survives. Okay, use Combine. So, I should be able to knock out the Poison Jab here. I should. And if I don't, then whoops. Wait, no. That was because I had previously used, um... No, I knocked out the Meow Stick because of... Because I had a Sword Stance on. No, I think I still do. I'm going for it. I don't care. It's, it's, it's more fun this way. So I'm not going to be stick. Let's go. The car is a beast. It's almost too easy. Alright, so now. Now. We win. Or I win. And then why Um. I go into my Lapis. Who barely takes any damage from any of Sigma's attacks. Ideal play, I think. Yeah, no, the ideal play is actually to wait out the screens that this thing puts up. So it's gonna set up the fucking light screen, right? Toxic, whatever. I'll protect, it doesn't really matter what I do per se. Psychic does not bring me, whatever. Protect again, we're just gonna keep protecting until the reflect wears off. And once the reflect wears off, then I'll perish song. Once I perish song, then the counter goes down, right? But um, oh my god. When the reflect wears off, I'll perish song. And okay. Perish song now. It's gonna use reflect. There's the reflect. Lapras using Parasong. So now, Sigilith is on a timer, so is Lapras. So we need to switch out. Now, Light Screen is gonna wear off now. Because Sigilith used Light Screen right after uh, Reflect. So I'm gonna switch into Lucario now. Lucario is the best chance of surviving both the Psychic and the Slash. But Sigilith is most likely to use a Light Screen, which means Lucario doesn't take any damage. Guarantee that Lucario doesn't die. Now I switch back into Lapras, because Lapras is defensive god and will take anything this Lapras, this uh, Sigma has to do with it. It's like, it's probably like psychic now. Sure. It doesn't really matter. Sigma's courage count is down to one. I just use protect once, and I win. So yeah. This has been Pokemon X and Y, Gym Battle 7. Defeated with yet more cheese, because it's fun this way. Why use hyper offense when you can use stall? The best kind of team.
All right, Parish count zero. Sickle is down. That's my seventh gym badge. That is gym badge number seven. So there's Team Flare, and then the eighth badge, and then Victory Road, and then I win. You all enjoyed it. Things got a little spicy there, but that's how I like it sometimes. And now I can use Calm Mind with that kind of strategy, so extra fun. I'm gonna go right to the entrance, and then I'm gonna save. I'm gonna stop the stream, and then I'm gonna, I don't know, sleep, I guess. <laughs>